Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today in this video uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a port scanner in Python, the Python programming language. I prefer to use Python for this, especially for tutorials because it's very beginner ve <coughs> sorry, beginner friendly um, programming language. Uh, a lot a lot beginner friendly than C. Uh, C I'd say is the hardest beginner friendly, I guess for beginners but it's a good programming language still uh, C sharp and C++ also it would take like longer to program in those languages uh, Python is just you can program faster I guess because you can write less code <coughs> so now into the modules with Python um, you're going to be using a socket <coughs> so a socket al enables you to establish connections and it's basically a networking module, I guess you could say. Uh, we're going to be importing OS. Just uh, most of these modules are just going to be for looks, but I believe the only ones you'll need is socket and oh gosh, threading. Obviously, you don't need to add threading, but uh, it's just easier because you can do multiple tasks here. So um, <coughs> then there's for looks as well. Oh wait, no. Um, date time import date time there we go and there's also import armor <coughs> right so with color armor let me get cmd open and let me quickly this all right <coughs> so with color armor uh, you need to import it from your terminal your command prompt so do pip install <coughs> and then you just type color armor and then it will just import for you or oh, well, if you're using pip3 you can obviously type pip3 install so that's that <coughs> and now back to uh, the thingy uh, the, <laughs> the thingy um, this so now <coughs> we're gonna make a variable so you can name it IP or you can name it whatever you want um, as long as if you remember what wh where you're storing your IP basically this is going to be the IP address or the server address or whatever you want um, that's going to be scanning and we're gonna do an input method because input I, I just really like input it's helpful so like if you wanted to give it to other people <coughs> so you can type enter IP or enter the target I guess yep <coughs> so now once we've done that I'm going to do some that right this this is actually gonna help you a lot so os.system basically means you're using the OS yeah and it's gonna so obviously in this case it's Windows and stuff and it's gonna use a system so we're using system commands so whatever you type in command prompt you can even do pip install in here you can do pip install whatever um, but for this, we're going to do CLS, so that's going to clear your command prompt, so make sure everything, and we can actually do that before here as well. Um, OS.system, and then open close parentheses, and then open close quotes, and CLS. I'll do that above there. Okay, <coughs> now, uh, I mean, obviously this is all for looks, so I'm going to print a dash, and then I'm going to times that by 41. So it's going to print 41 of those dashes. And then we're gonna type print. Uh, it's gonna be scanning. And a handy function with Python is you can print out a variable, basically into a you can put it into a string. It's called. Um, so obviously, as you can see, this is a variable. And uh, so whatever you type in here, yeah, will be stored in this variable. And we can print whatever you type out. <coughs> so if we print target, if we print that, let me just save real quick. Just, yep, there we go. And there is also, we can also do this print time started. If you want to see just one port, you can just do one and two, I guess. Or, uh, yeah, and 53, I believe, will be the first open port you'd get. But it's just best to scan everything, um, especially if you're just doing reconnaissance. Uh, so, was it 65500? <coughs> And then also we have to add a uh, colon. 
after this statement because uh, that's just how uh, Python is. That's just the syntax. And now we're going to make a thread. So thread equals, this is a variable, uh, equals threading, threading module dot thread as a function. So we're going to target. <coughs> now we're going to make, so this target has nothing to do with this target up here. It's got nothing to do with it. It's, uh, we're going to create a function for that. So we'll leave this blank for now. And then we're going to do a comma, and then we're going to write quag, quags, equals. Now we're going to do open curly bracket, and it will make a, it should make a close one too for you. And then you put in quags, uh, port, because that's the variable that we're going to be putting into it. And I want to make a scanned variable. <coughs> so we're going to make that here. So scanned equals one so for each port we scan it's going to do plus one and it's going to tell you at the end how many ports it scanned like if you want to make it an exe uh, an executable or just in into any binary file or something then you can um you you won't be able to edit the code basically so you won't be able to see or change how many ports you you can actually make an input statement like i did from fierce and put an integer input and like you can put a range. I might, I might, te I might do another tutorial on that. How to change the range of ports to scan a specific range, but I won't do that in this tutorial. I just want to teach you the basics. So with this, we're gonna do scanned plus equals one. So it's gonna each time it goes through this loop, each time it goes round and round and round, it's gonna plus this one. So obviously, each each port you scan is gonna plus this one and then we're gonna print this out we're gonna print how many ports are scanned at the end um, <coughs> and then after this we're gonna start the thread so thread dot start and then we're gonna do print now here's a different string so over here as you can see th this str stands for string so we're converting the time into a string so we can print it okay so with this we are what are we printing out uh, oh yeah scanned how many ports we're gonna scan so f and then you do f you obviously you do print open and close parentheses then f and then space oh no space sorry um then do car speech marks and then you type open and close bra uh, curly bracket and then you type the variable um and then after that uh, we, uh, we the thing with f strings, you can type this, and you see up here we had to close the quotes. With f strings, we don't. We can continue. Um, we don't. We don't have to close it at all. So we say, uh, ports were scanned, and then that's that print statement. And then we've got the next one, which is going to be the total open port. So print. Uh, we're not going to do an F string for this. Open ports and then space. Uh, space here just for that. <coughs> and then we're going to uh, ports. We're going to make convert this to a string. So two different string types here. F string and converting because uh, numbers are integers. Obviously, um, they're numbers. You print numbers as an integer. Well, no, you have to convert it to a string to print it. Sorry. Um, I'm getting mixed up here, <coughs> and then so basically that's that done. Now we're going to make the target. So you can call this whatever you want, as long as if you call it here. So I'm going to call it scan. That's going to be our function. So how to make a function in Python is you do def scan open or, or name whatever open and close parentheses and colon yes, <coughs> and then in here we're going to pass port because oh gosh. In uh, in Python, uh, if you want to get a variable from somewhere else, or if you call it, then you have to call it with the uh, variable. Or whatever, it's complicated. I'll, I can explain it in a different uh, tutorial video if you guys would like. But here we're gonna actually create the function that's gonna get the port. So connection equals, and here's where the socket module comes in. So we've used every. Actually, we haven't used Polarama yet, but we we'll use that in here. Uh, so we've used all of these so far 
other than the socket module and we'll use colorama too soon so with this we do socket <coughs> dot socket and then where, whenever you do like a module name and then dot as you can see here we do threading dot thread and we do open and close parentheses we do that with here as well that's how close <coughs> oh, bless me I'll probably edit that out and then we'll do socket dot af underscore inet so for this I'll explain socket dot af inet means we're creating an internet socket uh, you, you'll use this in many programming languages C, C++, many others um, and yeah this just makes an internet socket so we're gonna be connecting to an internet or something like that and then here we're gonna define that we're gonna be connecting we're gonna be using a TCP socket so socket dot sock underscore stream so it's capitals for these if it's not capital then it won't work um, <coughs> so yeah that, that, that means we're gonna be creating a TCP socket and then we're gonna do this isn't a variable or anything like that we're gonna set default where I spell that default time out and then obviously because we did something dot we're gonna be doing parentheses and then we're gonna make it one so it's gonna be it's gonna time out after one second so we're not waiting here forever for it to connect to the IP and port and now we're gonna do connection dot close because we don't want we don't want that <coughs> oh wait no we don't we haven't even created a connection sorry we don't do that yet now we do a try and accept so a try we're gonna try something so and then if it doesn't work then we're gonna do something else um, so basically if we do connection dot connect and then because we're putting in a target and the port we create the port variable here um, over here uh, we're gonna do two brackets so target comma port and yeah so uh, that's that and then if uh, and then we're gonna obviously close the connection too so we're gonna do connection dot close that's okay now we're gonna also print we're gonna use an f string because for colorama you need to do for wait no sorry you need to do open and close uh, curly brackets and you need to do foreground so this is so for equal it means foreground you could do back dot whatever for a background so foreground is going to be white just to make sure it's in the terminal it's white I'll show you what I mean later and then <coughs> after that we're gonna write port and then we're gonna do open and close and then four dot red you can make this green if you want you can make it whatever color you want really um, and then I'm gonna surround the port number in square brackets so I did a square bracket there a square bracket there and then basically the right port inside this curly bracket so it's it's gonna look pretty basically and then now I'm gonna do another four dot white hopefully you guys still understand this and then I'm gonna write is open okay there we go um, so that's that done and then we're gonna do um, port <coughs> Sorry. ports so we're gonna get the list and then dot pend so <coughs> we're gonna put something inside this list and we're gonna put the port so whatever port is actually uh, open we're gonna make, put it in this and we're printing it over here so we're putting it in this list and then printing it over here no, I didn't say that there we go um, <coughs> and now we're gonna do except so except wait no we'll do except exception so then you can do keyboard uh, interrupt you can do control C to stop the program if you and we do pass if anything goes wrong in this then basically it's going to continue 
And now before we start, I've actually forgotten something. So it's up here, yes. So to to actually make this work, this four, we're gonna do from Colorama import four. Obviously, you can use other stuff if you're if you're changing colors. So there's obviously back and there's other stuff, but <coughs> for now we're gonna be just using four. And now if we bring up the terminal, I'll bring this up. Just quickly get all this. Boom, boom, boom. And now, if we run it, port scanner.py. Now, if we run it, it should scan. Oh, obviously, I got to do uh, 192.168.0.1. So, <coughs> this is basically my default gateway. This is my basically router's IP, I guess you could say. Um, it's private. IP. Um, so this will uh, this will either be this or it will be 10.0.0.1. If you do IP config um, on Windows or IF config on Linux and Mac, I believe I think it's the same with Mac, um, then you'll see your default gateway, and that's what your private uh, router IP will be. Or you can go onto your browser and search what is my IP and it will come out of your public IP uh, so if I start this there we go already <laughs> already we're getting these ports open and look it did 8,000 ports in one second wow 30,000 ports already it's already halfway through and it's, print, it's printing it in a nice format and there we go it tells you how many ports were scanned and it tells you a list of all the ports that were scanned and so yeah so that's going to be the end of this video i'm going to be doing a login program next and then yeah we're good to go so i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye